Now in this mission, our first priority is to gain a disguise that will give us instant access to anywhere we want to go. So, go directly to the donuts in the caterer's van on the driveway, make sure that he isn't looking of course, and take them around the corner. Now we do need to be careful here, as there is a jogger that can spot us if we're not too careful. The jogger is not only fucking annoying, but is kind of like a mobile surveillance camera as he repeatedly circles the block, and if he sees you do anything out of the ordinary, he will immediately blow your cover. Even something as common and innocent as injecting some donuts with sedatives. Or even innocently yet brutally murdering a woman tending to her garden. With a hedge trimmer. Now if we weren't gunning for Silent Assassin and were just looking at being assholes, we would likely just alleviate the problem by <laughs> killing the prick from the get-go. But as this Let's Play series is all about gaining Silent Assassin, we're gonna have to let him live. Once the jogger has begun to run in the opposite direction and you're confident that you're in the clear, pump those donuts with the sedatives, pick them back up and take them over to the blatantly obvious FBI van parked opposite to the house. When given the button prompt, place the donuts down and knock on the door. Fresh donuts. That's the How kitchen cool entrance. That? You want to check that out? Full disclosure, we're actually FBI. No shit. And congratulations, your willingness to inform complete strangers of who you are when you're supposed to be discreetly watching the house, ultimately endangering the very person you were trying to protect, has made you the most retarded FBI agent in existence. So now Tweedle D and Tweedle fucking retard are going to eat the sedated donuts and pass out. Allowing you, of course, making sure that the fucking jogger isn't around, to walk right into the van and dress as an FBI agent, ultimately giving you an all-access pass. Also, while you're here, grab the surveillance tape to prevent yourself from being recorded on CCTV. So now that we have our disguise, we can get down to business, which is to kill this guy and steal the necklace from his wife. And to be quite honest, if all the FBI agents here have the same IQ as this fucking idiot, I like our chances. Now there are a couple of ways that we can kill our target, the first of which involves breaking the fuse box next to the garage when no one is looking, causing the TV to blow up so that our target's escort is sent to fix the problem allowing us some alone time with him, where we kill him and dump his body in the cupboard nearby. Ugh. Just a forewarning here for you guys, this door randomly fucking opens outward for some fucking reason. I don't know why it does, I guess they just wanted to fuck with us. The other way to kill this prick is to, before entering the target's home, make your way to the house opposite and grab the bottle of ether from the room behind the garage. Then, make your way back to the target's house, go through the double doors in the entrance, and head upstairs. Now this agent to the left here is a massive fucking pervert, as he sneaks a whiff of the target's daughter's underwear every chance he gets. Now, I know what you're thinking, what? Pervert? Take that! <laughs> but remember, Silent Assassin. So instead of brutally murdering the bastard, we are going to put some ether on the panties and see how he likes that. Why hello there, I'm just gonna be a perv. <laughs> ah, that's some good vagina. Ooh, I seem to be getting a bit high off this vagina. <laughs> yep, nothing beats some good old vag- <clears throat> Take that you fucking prick. And now that we've taken care of him, we are just gonna wait for our target to come upstairs with his escort. And here he is now. He seems to have noticed that Agent Snatch Sniffer isn't at his post. This doesn't matter, so let's not care. When he enters the room, enter sneak mode, follow him in, and kill him how you choose. Oh yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I just love the sound of a syringe going into somebody's neck in this game. It feels so satisfying. I could listen to it so often. Okay, what the fuck's with his foot? Just fucking flopping around. So now that we have killed our target, we need to take care of his escort, because if we don't, he will definitely discover the body. The simplest way to do that is to sneak up behind him, equip your pistol, take him as a human shield, take him back into the room, and knock him the fuck out. With our primary target well and truly dead, we can now focus our attention on his wife's necklace. Now, we don't actually need to kill her. In fact, directly doing so will prevent us from attaining Silent Assassin, but we can always have her killed accidentally. Again, there are a couple of humorous ways of doing so. The first being to wait for her to go for a swim, and as she's making her way into the pool, yeah. It's the drone! Thank you, thank you. But not necessary, only doing my job. Thank you. And we now, of course, grab the necklace from the floating corpse. The other, and perhaps most well-known method of gaining the necklace is to make our way over to the garden shed, open the door, sup. No, we actually enter the shed, grab the lighter fluid, venture back to the barbecue and douse it in the lighter fluid and the lovely wife will then begin cooking the barbecue and become engulfed in fire. Yeah. Uh, she's not dead yet. Yeah. 
Well, now she is. Now all we need to do is simply walk up and retrieve the surprisingly undamaged necklace from what can only be described as a female emotep. And now, as in all missions before, we are going to reclaim our suit as it's much trendier than this one and we do need it to gain Silent Assassin. So, back to the FBI truck, back into the suit, and out the gate we go. There you go guys, total kills 1, accidents 1, Silent Assassin. This concludes yet another episode of Let's Play Hitman Blood Money, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time! If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button below, and for more videos like this one, as well as video game reviews, gameplay commentaries, and other game-related media, swing over to my channel, and hey, you could always subscribe.